So let's start from the very beginning. What are we talking about when we say self-harm or self-injury? Because that's something that we get asked a lot in our training courses. You know, what is it exactly? Are we talking about cutting or, or what is it? It, it is that I like to keep it simple because there are many definitions out there, but the one that I've developed over the 20 years is that it's the intentional infliction of harm on one's body, usually for emotional reasons. And so the really key piece here is the intentional aspect. It's not an accident. It's not, oh, oops, I goofed. I mean, it's a conscious decision of I know I'm about to create harm on my body right right and so another question we often get is around what's the relationship with suicide does it does it mean that the person is necessarily necessarily intending to end their life or how does that work what's the relationship it's a great question because that is a really important thing to differentiate So while self-injury is not a suicide attempt, there's a very strong correlation between the two. To the matter of fact of at least 60, maybe even up to 70% of people that self-harm do have some type of suicidal ideation. And Mm -hmm. over the years, I've tracked over 530 individuals. So that's one of the things I look at. And I will tell you, yes, at least 60% either either had the ideation or they've actually attempted. But to right. just reinforce it, the behavior itself does not mean it's an intent or attempt. That's where you have to ask the uh, intent question. Mm-hmm. So what was your aim in doing this? Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.